I'm about to make pavlova. We have a springform pan to put the pavlova in. We have a jug to crack the eggs on. We've got Pam. It's an old name for a girl, but this is um, to I make love um, you. a greasy cooking oil. Got you. a blending blade. Cream of tartar to thicken up the pavlova meringue. Vanilla essence. Six eggs. We're going to separate into egg whites. Egg whites will go in here. Yolks will go in here. We've got sugar to basically make the meringue solid. We've got the mix master to blend it all up. We have a spatula to scoop out the remains into here. Hi, I'm going to crack some eggs now. And this is how you do it. You take your egg, put it on the side of a glass. I like to leave the glass up there. Once upon a time, there was an egg and his name was Eddie. And he fell from the air, he hit the side of the glass, and then crack! <laughs> Eggie's egg cracked open. A hand separated it, the yolk fell into the bottom. And this, his egg white, got caught by the bottom shell or went into the glass. This went on back and forth until the egg white was drained into the glass. Then the hands tipped the yolks into the yolk glass. Open it up. Oh, dang it. And then you want to move the yolk from shell to shell and the egg white comes out. Ooh, fancy. Now I did it the wrong way around. I was supposed to put the egg white in the other one. That's all right, you can go on this one. There you go, <coughs> done. Take the egg white in here. There you go, separated. That's how you separate an egg. I'm going to do this six more times, you don't need to see that. And then you'll see the product at the end of that. And then we can stop the video. Oh, I didn't mean to look at myself. So, I didn't want to bore you with the details, but we separated six eggshells, we put them in the sink. We noticed that where you crack the egg is where you want to unload the egg white. So I ended up cracking the eggs over the steel um, bowl of the KitchenAid. You can see the uh, yolks are in here. And I put the yolks in here for later. Yolks are for custard. And this is for the meringue or the pavlova. What I've also noticed is that you want to crack the eggs over three glasses. Because what you'll have, have happen sometimes is that the um, egg may be bad, or you may get shards of <coughs> shell in the yolk. You need to separate that out. So in order to make sure you have all good eggs, you want to have three glasses. The one where you do the tossing, to make sure everything's okay. And then you then pour the egg whites into one and the yolk into the other. That's the way I like to do it. Hi everyone, this is my best friend. Pam. No one uses the word Pam anymore I for love a girl thing, you. but here's Pam. She lives on. She you. lives on as a greaser we'll of Pam's. Love you. So we use Pam and we spray the inside of the springform pan. The reason why we do this is when we put the uh, meringue inside, it separates and comes out cleanly. That's the theory. If that doesn't happen, I don't know what to say. So what we're going to do next is we are going to use this KitchenAid, blend up the egg whites and slowly add these two cups of sugar. So six egg whites, two cups of sugar slowly together. Then at the end we need things to bond it. There are several theories behind the way um, ring, um, the pavlova is made to give it strength. You can use this guy, prima tata, you can use um, cornstarch, flour, there are lots of um, binding agents. You'll notice that also, quite sadly, I've only made probably two pavlovas perfect. Oh. Humidity has a factor, altitude has a factor. Um, if you do it at altitude, there are posts where you put a tablespoon of water or even a quarter cup of water into the mix. So it rises correctly, otherwise it's just going to fall. 
my noise collapse. So it rises and then falls like a dime. I don't know what to do about it. I've never really fixed that part of it. All I can say is if you go to Australia, you can go to Woolworths and get one that is fully solidified. I think they must use like 10 million eggs. That would be the only reason why it would be so solid. Or put some sort of preservative that I'm unaware about. Put maybe the stick steroids in it. Whatever. Um, the theory is six egg whites, two cups of sugar, some strength of like crema tartar or cornstarch. And I'm also going to put in um, vanilla essence into this guy. And then once it builds up, it's going to build to a point where it turns white and then it builds to such a solid mass that you can pick up this whole thing and tip it upside down it won't fall out. Now everyone stand back! And tip it upside down it won't fall out. Right, and I have to say your presentation was beautiful. Won't fall out. It's crazy! And this is what it looks like blending up. It goes round and round and round and round. I generally do it on a gentle thing. You gotta give this uh, mixture a bit of love. It's very noisy as well, this process. This is the beginning. And so basically you start up, I'm gonna just show you what it looks like. It won't bite you by putting in some sugar. You put it in, see? And there you go, like that. All right, we're gonna constantly do this. Here to here, it gets wider and wider, stiffer and stiffer, until we can tip it up something. I just put a teaspoon of this guy in here. See, it's already getting whiter. I have it on level four. I like to get it whitened before I start increasing the speed. We will eventually get to level 10. We're going to keep on adding uh, sugar now, right, at a constant rate, until it's all being uh, mixed in. We will eventually put in the vanilla essence right at the end. Two years later. Look, we're getting thicker. Level 4. We're about halfway through the uh, sugar. It's already, look at the, how white it is already. So, the sugar has now joined the repository of things that are messed up. All the sugar is in there now. Prima Tata is already in there. Now we're going to yank this up to be a little bit faster. And let this beat for a little bit more. I'm going to hit it at 8. Power. Look how wide it is! So exciting! I actually have to kill the body, drink a bit of beer. Be right back. This is at level 8. After potty's been going for about 5 minutes. Now we're at level 10. He's exploding creeper, but look, this is level 10. We're still going. We'll go for about 5 more minutes. 3.42. When it gets to 3.47, we're going to stop. 3.47, gonna turn this off. All right, you wanna see some magic? It's like this, you hit the unlock. Never used a kitchen aid before. Oh, look at that, looks good. We twisted it this way. Look at, look. This is chapter four. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's like out of God, isn't it? Amazing. It actually worked. So it tips up to down, that means it's ready. And now we're gonna pour it into this over here. Hi. Way to go. Hi. So then I, I use a spatula, spatula to scoop this into here. I wonder if the temperature will have an effect on this. What do you think? This is as good as it gets, buddy. It looks like whipped cream, doesn't it? Or a loaf. Or is it pad? Pad loaf. Is it pad or This is a bit droopy, actually. I was expecting it to be stiffer. Okay, you still have some more in there. I know. We'll see what happens here. 
all of these uh, pavlovas have all turned out differently. Different circumstances. If it works, I'll take ownership. If it doesn't, I'll just blame something. Blame, blame Alex here. Who was trying to tickle me during the making of this pavlova. And I'm going to put it back the blade in and I'm just going to spin it. You just lock it and spin it so it spits out all the stuff. Uh, see ya. See, it drops it out all at the bottom. So it cleans the blade. Aren't we fancy? So we are back and hi. And um, we round off the edge. I actually flattened it usually around the edge, but I think because it rises and collapses, maybe it needs more volume in the center. So what I did is I rounded it, but left it in the middle. It'll rise a little bit. It's going to rise probably up to here, and then it'll collapse. So I'm hoping that it will just rise to here and be happy, but this is going to be its happy state, I think, this height. So if it gets higher than this, then, you know, it's really full of hot. Full of hot air. It's full of air. It's not one and a half minutes. It's one and a half hours baked at 250. Wait, 250. Wait, one and a half. Oh no. That's how come you can have this phone and play some tiki taka. And then we'll be back to pull it out. Oh. One other thing, do not open the lid. Don't open the lid! This thing, don't open it. It's like a souffle. There is a level of self-control. For one and a half hours, this needs to stay shut. If you want to peek at this, you either have to have a phone and look inside, or use the clock light. I mean the oven light if there is one. I don't know where it is on this one, but you need an oven light. Otherwise you've got to keep it shut for one hour. Okay, half an hour is gone. And you can see that it is rising. I wonder if can do anything about it. You just have to trust that it is right. Quite high. It's getting up there. It's above the rim of the um, circle thing, spring form, but it'll probably sink. Okay, it just been dinged. Time to open it up. sink though. Oh, am I on? Am I on? Okay. Oh, just have to inform you. The Pavlova actually turned out perfect! It was awesome. It was great. It, it was a perfect. My third uh, perfect uh, Pavlova. What I noticed was if I whipped the eggs so they weren't as stiff and rigid, that I think that made the difference. I was overbeating the eggs for the last 10 Pavlovas, overbeating it. This one turned out awesome. Way to go. So there was a lesson there. Earlier on in the video, I said, hey, it's not good. It was good. Don't be sad if it's overbeaten. You should underbeat your eggs. All right, back to the video. It'll sink. You can see it. It's underneath. It looks Interesting. Funny. I wonder if this will stay or it will sink like the rest of the bastards. Sinky pretty much everything for you today hopefully you guys enjoy it if you did smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time bye